done. Good morning, kids. I'm Uche. I'm here to help me with today's game is my beautiful daughter, Bella. And the game we're going to be playing is called Animal Sounds. Okay, so here's how it works. We're going to play 10 sounds of different animals, and you guys get to guess what animal each one is. Okay? So, type in the chat box what you think the animal is. But before we start, we'll do a little preview. Okay? So Bella will make an animal sound, and you guys guess what animal that is. You ready? Okay, here it goes. You guess cat or kitten, you're correct. correct. Okay, so now you guys know how this works. Let's start with animal number one. Listen really carefully. Type your answers in the chat. What do you think that is? Okay, if you guess cow, you're correct. correct. Okay, very good. Let's go to our animal number two. <laughs> what makes that sound? <laughs> very good. Okay, if you guess dog or puppy, you're correct. correct. All right. Ready for this third sound? Third animal? Very good. If you guess elephant, you're correct. Okay, animal number four. You don't want to find this in your house, but if you guessed frog, you're correct. Okay. is it's a horse you guessed horse you're correct okay we're halfway through here comes the next one a little harder but if you guessed a whale you are correct Okay, animal number seven. Here we go. Listen carefully. Hmm. You don't want to find this in your house either. If you guess rat or mouse, you're correct. Okay. Next one. Very good. If you guessed wolf, you're correct. Okay, two more to go. Hang in there. Here comes the next one. Careful if you hear that when you go hiking, because if you guess rattlesnake, you're correct. Or snake. Okay, last one, kids. Listen carefully. Get your fingers ready to type it in the chat box. Here we go.
Very good. Some of you guessed turkey, and you're correct. Okay, so that's all 10 animals. Some of you probably got five, some seven, some of you probably got all 10 of them. Very good, congratulations. We hope you enjoyed playing Animal Sounds with me, Uche, and Bella. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Osvaldo Castro, and I want to welcome you to Lifeway Kids. Thank you for being with us. Have you ever used the words okay and fine? Those are actually pretty good words, right? Very kind words, very nice words. For example, if you ask your dad, hey dad, can I have that toy from the store that I've been wanting for so, so, so long? And he says, okay, or if you ask your mom, mom, can I have an extra scoop of ice cream? And she says, fine. Those are magical words. But you know, sometimes life can be hectic. Life can be difficult. Maybe we had a bad day. Maybe we don't, we don't feel okay. And our okay and our fine might not come out in the best place possible way. Let me give you an example. Let's say that I ask one of my daughters to put away the trash and she says okay and then I ask her to turn off the TV because it's time to go to bed and she says Hush, fine. you see that's not very good she used the word okay and fine, but what wasn't good is the attitude. Let's go to our Bibles and let's read Proverbs 16, 24. And the Bible says, Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16, 24. Kind words can be sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Let's see a good example. When we say things and we answer in the right way. Same example. I tell one of my daughters, sweetie, put away the trash. And she says, okay. With a good attitude. Or I ask her, sweetie, please turn off the TV. It's time to go to bed. And she says, Bye. with a great attitude. So we have the power to be kind and to say the right words at the right time. So let's practice kindness. Let's practice the okay and the fine in a good way, in a godly way. I hope this helps every one of us. Certainly it helps me. So have a wonderful day and God bless.